Welcome back to Aix en Provence. If you haven't seen the first video of Aix, you can check it out here. Our first stop in the video is Bibimis Quarry, where I meet a very interesting artist. I am in Bibimis Quarry and just met a gentleman who lives in here, lives in this house behind me without any electricity or running water, and he spends his days making art like this piece. I've been living here for 33 years now. And how is how is it living here without electricity, water, neighbors? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Peaceful. It it takes it takes a little bit more effort to uh, to make up for that, not having the electricity, not having the water. That is, I have to fill up jerry cans and bring them and bring them in my car, and I have to uh, I have to get batteries charged to have a, a reading lamp. So this takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take nearly as much time as, as what people usually do to go out and earn money to pay for these things. Commuting and traffic and such, stuff like that too. So, uh, so my, uh, my life, at least during the months that I'm here, uh, is here. It's not, uh, it's not in an office in somewhere else. And so you're here not um, the full year? I go away a lot. And you sell your artwork here? For... If I can. <laughs> Even if you aren't really into art, one can appreciate a visit to Paul Cezanne's studio, where he created dozens of masterpieces that are today found in the world's best museums. Right now I'm in the studio of Paul Cezanne, who was a French painter who passed away in 1906. This was his studio from 1902 to 1906 before he passed away. Paul Cezanne was and is still a big influence on other artists, other painters. His painting sold for $250 million. That is the most anyone has ever paid for a painting. And it was sold to the Princess of Qatar. I am going to sketch the same tree that Cezanne did. Pretty cool, right? Right here where he was drawn and painting. I'm gonna do it too. Let's see how it turns out. Not completely done sketching yet but I'm weird when it comes to art and how I do things um, so I kind of like to go back and forth with uh, well right now we're using watercolors and this pen so I like to go back and forth I don't like just finishing the sketching and then start the painting it was weird like that so moving on to the watercolors This is my finished product. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's finished, but I like it just like this. We used some watercolors, I spotted some watercolors, I used a paintbrush and painted with watercolors, and then used a black, very fine tip pen. And um, this is my tree. It's been a while since I've just sat down and done some art, and it felt really good to just relax and let loose and really live in the moment and really look and observe whatever it is that I'm drawing, which was the tree, and see the detail and really just take a, a moment to appreciate it and look at the textures and the colors and the shadows and it was just, it felt really good. I feel a lot calmer actually. I really enjoy doing this and it makes me actually want to take a sketchbook with me on my travels because taking pictures is nice, but actually sitting and drawing what you see in front of you, it allows you to appreciate that moment more and really live in that moment and remember the details of your surroundings. So when you look back at your sketch, you can really put yourself back into that moment and remember those details rather than just walking by and taking a picture. If you want to treat your taste buds to a little French tour, take them over to the Calaison factory. 
I am here at the Calisson factory, which is like a delicious French cookie. So we're just learning the, how it's made, the process, um, seeing the assembly line and how everything is put together, how it's made and then how it's packaged. And there's even a game so you can try it yourself. <laughs> So the reward for finishing this game is you actually get a calisson. Mm. There's different flavors. This one's big for sure. Crunchy in the top, mushy in the middle. Great combination. Love that. Sweet but not too sweet. Mm. It's a little, a little good treat. I feel like it's a healthier treat even though there's probably tons of sugar and actually there is tons of sugar. We just saw how, it, how they were made but mm. it tastes healthier because there's fruit in it. Really good. Definitely give it a try. Trying the violet. Wow. Floral. Kind of tastes like a, like a jelly bean. Like a jelly belly. This one's really nice. Raspberry. This one doesn't taste as real as the others. It has an artificial kind of flavor to it. The fun never stops here on Hopscotch the Globe, so be sure to subscribe so you never miss another adventure. Happy travels!